Hello and welcome to a making money edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the classic drama independent film, Glengarry Glen Ross. Now you might be asking yourself, what's a couple of fucking drunk hillbillies want to see a movie like man, that? Man, why you want to fucking do a smart man's movie? Yeah, I mean, ain't that, ba ain't that just based on a play? You like play, play bullshit? Play bullshit, some artsy bullshit, that's what you guys are about? Yeah, man. Nah, listen, man, we just like movies that are about fucking badass motherfuckers. Yeah. And this movie's got a ton of them, It man. sure does, man. Al Pacino is fucking Roma. Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Al Baldwin, Al Ed Baldwin. Harris, Alan Arkin, Kevin Spacey, fucking what else you want, motherfucker? What's better than a bunch of fucking drunk white collar salesmen fucking cussing and eating steak and trying to sell Nothing. shit? Nothing. Backstabbing each Nothing. other? I mean, you guys you guys like Mad Men so much out there? And yeah, so you like Mad Men, but Come you don't on. like fucking this shit. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Do? So what's it about? Alright, this movie is basically about... There's uh, this group of white collar people who are barely making it, and they are trying. What, what do they do? What business they, are they in? They sell uh, fake ass timeshares. I don't know. They actually sell pieces of land, I believe. They yeah, sell, they, they sell, sell swamp like, land. Yeah, 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 crappy ass pieces and, of land. And they basically estate, call yeah. people out of the fucking phone book, pretty much. Right, right. Like, all they do is cold call. Like, and they only make commissions. And they're trying to sell shit that nobody wants to buy. I mean, so, what do they call a bunch of old fuckers on yeah, the phone? The Indian try to people, swindle old yeah, people. Try to swindle them out of yeah, their license. I got some primary. Real estate, Florida, some swamp bullshit. Yeah, shit. Bullshit. You can go to sleep in a gator, eat your fucking dick. Yeah, basically, uh, they're hucksters, man. It's like okay. yeah. And the thing is, there's only one guy in this whole fucking place who actually sells this bullshit because he's so slick. Yeah, and that's Ricky Roma, played by Chino. Al Pacino. Oh, <laughs> fucking! Before he looked 108 years old, he still looked kind of like a normal guy in yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah, it's actually pretty depressing, man, because like these guys hate their jobs. They're not good at it. It clearly doesn't pay well. And it all gets shaken up one day mm -hmm. when Alec Baldwin comes in and he tells him like he's a corporate guy from downtown yeah. he comes out he tells them they're all dog shit and yeah. what's going to happen if they don't start selling this yeah yeah there's a new programming town there's uh three three winners basically one you get a new car first price second price set of steak knives Third price, you're fucking fired. Fire. You, you might remember one of the first reviews we did was Boiler Room, and that was the movie but, where fucking yeah, Ben Affleck yeah, ripped off the yeah. speech. Same shit if you've seen Boiler Room, but this is the original shit. This is where all came David from. David wrote this bullshit. Yeah, in, in fact, this this film is referenced throughout a lot of pop culture. I mean, yeah. You, 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 you'll get fucking it. Fucking Family Guy, The Simpsons, yeah, all man, this pop SNL, culture dude, bullshit. Everyone loves this SNL movie. Sti SNL still references this it. this day, like 20 man, years later. Dude, I saw a skit last year on Christmas, Alec Baldwin. Dressed up as an elf, and he did his character from that. Instead of a bunch of Christmassy lines, it was crazy. I know, I, I know, it, man. It's but the insane. point is, it's that good. We don't have to tell you the plot. It's it's the legendary. It's a timeless film. Now it's kind of cool because at the end there's some twists and turns. Someone breaks in the office to try to steal a bed. Some crooked leads. bullshit yeah, goes down. Do an investigation. Gets, and like the real thing is, it's it's written by David Mamet. Mm -hmm. He was a great playwright. He really wrote some shit. Not some yeah, boring man. artsy farts shit, but he just wrote stories about. Desperate characters, desperate motherfuckers, Great ready to do man. anything, ready to fucking do whatever it takes, and that's what it's about. Just desperate motherfuckers in yeah. desperate times, high drama, yeah. good characters, good writing, good acting. Right, man, right. Hey, not not one broad in the picture, man, either. That's no, 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 no. Men being men. No. You know, except when they still only count Kevin Spacey. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> 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 Don't get me wrong, this probably ain't the type of movie for everybody. There's probably some dumb motherfuckers out there who don't appreciate Al Pacino, don't yeah, appreciate yeah. Ed Harris. Ed Harris is in it, we didn't even say about him. Yeah, man. But, you know what? For the type of movie it was trying to be, talking about some drama, talking about some good characters, I think it, could, it couldn't have been any better. No, man. And that's why I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. Oh, my goodness gracious. I will certainly give it a 10 out of 10. That's a movie you can watch every few years, appreciate. Now, moving on. This being a DVD and not a Blu-ray picture. Old ass one of and that an old one, one too. But this is 10, 10 year anniversary <laughs> edition and the movie came out in 92. That's how, he's how old this fucking DVD is. I don't is. even think I had my first DVD player in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> you were probably watching VHS. I probably was. Anyway, but you know what? It actually don't look that fucking bad at all. Nah, nah. And, and uh, another thing that's weird, this is a two disc set. So you go, oh wait, one movie is a fucking movie. One disc is the fucking special features. No, they're both the movie. They're both the movie. You know why? Because one is widescreen if you got a flat screen television. And another one is a full screen book. Bullshit, if you got some old fucking janky fucking square thing. I, I, I so so they got you covered. The craziest way. thing I ever heard in my entire life. I mean, like, 
They couldn't put the weird. On the I know disc. it's weird. So anyway, wow. you gotta give them credit for that. But yeah. but but the widescreen version, which is what we watch, it don't look that bad. It looks no, decent that's for a all DVD. Right, that's all right, yeah. You know, sounds got some like remastered surround sound. You know, it's good. I want to give it. You know, for DVD standards, I want to give it seven and a half out of ten. Man, I'm only gonna give it a six, man. I don't know, just because I don't know. I, I, I never am happy, too happy with the sounds on DVDs. I got to adjust my volume up, down, up, down. Special features. See this red box on here? It's all special features, mm. motherfucker. You can have a DTS surround sound, a Dolby Digital surround sound. You can have a 2.0 stereo surround sound. Just, you, just you, remember you, you can choose it, otherwise it'll default for you. So exactly. You remember there, to go, go to the, the good yeah, sound. Yeah. Don't let them play that lazy shit yeah. on you. You can watch a documentary called ABC Always Be Closing. You can watch a tribute to Jack Lemmon. Yeah. Jack Lemmon died, man, oh, and, and fucking people still love him in Shelly this movie. Shelly Levine the Machine. Shelly Levine yeah, the Machine. Man. New interviews talking about, you know, you see them all old now, talking about when they made this movie, they were young and how good it was. Yeah. You can also get a new commentary by the director, production notes, cast and crew biographies. It's chock. I mean, you, when you're done watching these special features, you couldn't want to know anymore. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 special features, absolutely. Go get it. All right, that's it for a good game. I suppose that's all we can say about it. We what can, else can we, we say? We kissed its ass enough, but it deserves we, it. We, we can blow smoke up its ass all I want. It's still going to be a great movie. Can't yeah. get any better. 10 yeah. out of 10 is best as it gets. Yeah, just uh, if all, the, all you guys out there, I wouldn't watch it with, with your girlfriend. She might get bored and fall asleep. You know. Yeah, saying? you know how women are. They they, they don't like men's it's stories. A lot of talking, talking, they, talking. They need always a wife involved, some high drama. They always need a fucker run into the train station or the airport. Yeah, yeah. You ever notice how every bitch movie ends with somebody running to the fucking airport? Airport. I'll catch, get you. Catch I love you. On I love you. Fuck <laughs> that, man. You're just going to get fucking the opportunity of saying hoo ha and fucking selling yeah. some bunk real estate. Steak and fucking exactly. Around. It's awesome. Go see it. Good movie. Hello? Fucking Kevin Spacey ducking down in the restaurant. Nobody sees him. He was actually pretty good in the yeah. And he actually knew what it was going to look like. Look, he actually had some fucking hair. He played a hard line. At one point in time, he had some yeah, hair. Yeah, he was the manager of the place. He was a hard line. Yeah, he, he was. He was taking no shit.